Well, two Texas sisters who grew up on a ranch in West Texas are now business owners with stores across the country, and their specialty is booze. Yeah, it's called Mir and Crosby, and the sisters have just opened up their first store right here in Houston. Joining us now to share more are sisters and co-founders Sarah and Lizzie. Thank you guys Thanks for, for being here. Thanks for having us. Nice to be here. Thank so you. So excited. Congratulations on the new store. Thank you. So there is, you do have two stores right now currently. Where are those located? So we are in Dallas and Highland Park Village and then in Aspen, Colorado. Okay. So this will be our third and we're so excited to so be in Houston. Excited. It's been a long time dream. So we're that glad to be here. Yeah, mm. these are so pretty. Thank so you. tell us about the process of designing first because I mean, I'm sure it has to start with a with an idea, right? Totally. Uh, you know, Lizzie and I are ranch kids. We grew up on our family's ranch in West Texas. And so we've always loved cowboy boots and really wanted to make something that we felt kind of more comfortable wearing in our daily lives as we got older and a little more urban. So very true to the self. Um, we take inspiration from everywhere, architecture, art, fashion, high fashion, the catwalk, um, and then everything's patterned and uh, produced in South Texas and in Mexico. Interesting. So how do you come up with these designs? I mean, there's so, such a variety here. It's fun. You know, kind of, our collections are just based on what's influential in our lives at the time. So the capstone of our collection, for example, this boot, Sarah and I really hearkened back to our um, childhood growing up on our West Texas cattle ranch where the stars are just yeah. um, so bright and the <laughs> skies are quite vast. So this boot boasts jumping stars as opposed to shooting stars and kind of reminiscent of good fortune and good luck for the wearer. Aww, it's kind of fun. Okay, okay. And then what? some more kind of traditional yeah. Western things here like these stitch patterns or even this kind of jaggedy stitch pattern there. And then we work with a lot of really special exotics as as well so some cool pythons and some crocodile and all kinds of fun stuff. So. When did you guys know that you wanted to go into business together? We were living in New York and again being ranch kids kind of always wore our boots. I was in finance and, and Sarah was in fashion so kind of uptown do, downtown kind of a more you know <laughs> but across the board people just really reacted to the boots we wore that we had designed and, and had made for us and so we just felt like there was a real void in the market for a contemporary luxury cowboy boot that really was more on a fashion um, trend than something you just throw on for the rancher rodeo. So that was kind of the inspiration behind starting the business. Yeah, what I want to know is cowboy boots in New York City. Uh -huh. How was what was that like? Every day. Every day. <laughs> That's great. But to your point, you know, we were always really shocked by just the the variety of people that would stop us and ask us about our boots, and it was one of the reasons we really felt, you know, like it was time to do this. Um, the inspiration for the business was just how many people we felt like really wanted a really cool boot and maybe couldn't find one that was on the market. Yeah. yeah. But the Texas girls, they knew. Yes. You guys knew. I mean, knew. encourage people like wear them. Wear them with ripped jeans to carpool or out on date night with great leather pants. And there's, it, it's, they're comfortable and they're versatile, but they're also quite a fashion statement. Yeah. So they're fun. Now, I mean, where do you even begin to, to choose a boot? I mean, you, you can help people figure out what's right for them. I think a lot of people start with um, the height. You know, so we do tall and then what we call a midi and then yeah. a shorty boot um, and so I think we kind of start there and then from there it's just personal taste we like to think we have something for everybody but mm -hmm. um, you know how it is you want to find something that you feel like you'll wear and so whatever you kind of initially lean towards typically people end up liking and when I moved to Texas I heard that uh, cowboy boots once you break them in they're like super comfortable you wear them anywhere you, you it just kind of becomes a part of you it does and it's such a I think our, our boots in particular is such a great way to kind of there's like a kind of self-expression and, and a fashion statement, but can be worn, you know, with a ball gown or with, yeah. you know, jeans to a football game. So has it always been fashion for you guys or function when you were just growing up on a ranch and you were like, well, look, I, yeah. I, I'm, I literally need these boots to kick yeah. around and do the kind of work I need to You're do. You're absolutely kind right. of turning into fashion. Yeah, right. function, function, then than fashion. You're totally yes. right. Um, but, you know, all of our boots are made in the exact same way that our work boots are. So the same quality, of course, and uh, same comfort, which is fun. Um, we're well, very... The, is this the logo right that. inside? The Made uh -huh. in Texas? Yes. I don't know if we, which one you want me to go to. <laughs> and I do love the little ones. Oh my gosh, they're and so Anything sweet. mini is so sweet. We have kind of some that, you know, you can do with mommy and me pairs, which is really fun and that yeah. sort of thing. So Matching pairs. Um, we're really excited to open in time to kick off rodeo season here as well. And, you know, everybody in Houston's all about rodeo but also, you know, I think really celebrates Western culture and heritage year round. And so it's a perfect spot for so us. Where's this location? Yeah. We're opening to, to this week, right? Yes, on, we're at 3720 Westheimer. Okay. So right across from Lamar High School. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I said 3720, it's 3270. 3270. There right across from Lamar High School in the shopping center that, you know, where State of Grace is, really close to St. John, your mm -hmm. alma mater as well. Oh, right. Beautiful. Good location too. Great location. Oh, well, good luck with everything. Thank, Thank you. you. So oh, and here. website, is there a website? Yes, there is a website, okay. www www.mirancrosby.com. Okay. So we'd love for you to come yes. by. We'd love it. Sarah and Lizzie, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having us. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you.